welcome back to Trailer Trash, as we're going to be talking about Paper Towns, based off the best-selling novel, which was also the creator who did The Fault in Our Stars. Another coming-to-age story with a uniqueness to it. For what does the meaning Paper Town means is when one of the characters says that this town is so fake, it's not even plastic, it's paper fake. That's a little bit of an ouch. Well, let's start off with this, what the story's about. Our two lead characters, Quentin and Margot. Childhood friends who did the beginning of Stand By Me, which was a better movie. And then they grown apart when they got older. As soon as it gets to the closing ending years of graduation, Margot appears to Quentin and asks for his help only because of the fact he has a car. She decides to get revenge, they have some fun, and then the next day, she vanishes. And at the whole time, it's Quentin's questioning, where is he? And he's playing the find the princess joke. One of the things I hate about this style of coming of age is the fact that it does hit the right notes on the coming of age. As soon as he discovered, I'm not going to spoil it if you haven't read the book, but... It did kind of make me think a little bit more in that style of attitude. And the fact that it does ruin your reputation of how you feel about her. Coming from the same person who did The Fault in Our Stars, at least this time I won't feel like after I watch it doing the emo violin, I felt more of like the, what the hell did I just read? Like I said. Stand By Me is a better coming of age story, though it deals with more younger kids, at least they are understanding the terms of growing up. This one feels more like an insulting of Super Mario Brothers and then breaks it at the end. All I can say is, watch it if you want. It's not that bad, but hopefully I won't cry. This is Rasa, signing out.